Hello guys, uh, I'm James here from uh, Flight Sim International Group or FSIG.org. Uh, I am one of the uh, co-founders uh, along with Asia who came up with the idea. Say hello. I like trains. Okay, I'm going to stop there. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let me just uh, check. Oh, God. That's uh, something. Just uh, give me a second. I just need to uh, change the tab so you don't see any passwords. Uh, just give me a second. Uh, hey guys. Okay, I'm back. Uh, just created a new tab here. Uh, we're just going to go to the new uh, FSIG webpage uh, just to show you. We've still got a lot to do with the website. You can come here and give us. Uh, We've got. Criticism, yeah. trolling, which we know will come. So this is a quick message for you trolls. We don't care. Yeah. So you can just give us an uh, email, our personal email, link to the website. Uh, Ace here doesn't care. He doesn't want an email for some reason. Uh, uh, I'm down the road, so excuse me. <laughs> this is the web page where our current projects are here. Uh, this needs to be changed from work in progress to complete. Uh, here is an airline where we're just going to, we need to add a few routes to it first and uh, then you can... We're gonna pretty much fly everything. Uh, classic, vintage, to you know pretty much brand new stuff like triple seven, seven eights, if, if they ever get the 787 iron out enough that PMTG makes a 78. Uh, Quality Wings is actually making a really nice detail. Oh, oh, yeah, I'd say yeah, it's yeah, in I par forget, with PMDG. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, here is our help desk. This page, I'm not going to go on to it because I'm not sure what's the deal with it at the moment. It's still being <laughs> set up. And here is our form. So if you would wish to register it, or register with it, uh, if it would decide to load. Uh, come on. There we go. Uh, anyway, so this is the form. Uh... This is the announcement for the Hughes XF11, and then here is the uh, page where we can get it from. Uh, you can get it from the website, uh, or you could just go to Simviation. Uh, right now, it, it is at the top of the FSX downloads or FSX. Vintage, no, the FS Vintage downloads. Uh, it's also at the top of the FSX file at the moment. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. There was someone added FS two thousand and four stuff. That's what that was. So you can go to FSX and then Vintage if you wish. Uh, yeah, it's uh. Yeah, so you just click on here and then download the file. Uh, if you notice FSIG or Flight Sim International Group. Uh, okay, so once that's downloaded, you're going to be pre uh, presented with a file like this. Uh, here is the README telling you how to install, just in case you forget or you don't know how to install. And the here... aircraft is a standalone, so don't worry about installing AccuFeel or anything or any external mods. You don't need them. AccuFeel is recommended though because it does give the airplane a real stall Boost. shake. But, uh... Um, yeah, so here is the conditions of use, and here is the uh, discla Ooh, the disclaimers are not there for some reason. Uh, no, because you downloaded the one from the drive. Which oh yeah. Didn't have disclaimers added. Uh, well, anyway, there would be a disclaimer here. Yes, uh, we the one that we store up on our drive is a little different from the one that went up to Simviation, only so in regards to that. It's a little older, but there's no different features at all. No, no, there's, they're, um, they're all the same. Except if, for the cup holders I added. If I'm correct, this is still kind of work in progress. We, we've got a few things. We're, we're, to... It's going to be worked on like updates, normal updates, but no, we're not in the stage of rebuilding it anymore. It, it's there. We just got to do fuel fixing and yeah. stuff. So we just got a few minor bugs to be released. Oh, to be fixed, sorry. Um, Take it just, as a just, Battlefield 4 kind of thing, but not yeah. as bad. <laughs> but um, so, just uh, just one thing, if anyone can give me a can of Raid, I can get the bugs out of the airplane real quickly. Mm -hmm. Got a roach problem. Well, anyway, so to install it, go to your Microsoft Flight Simulator X uh, install directory, go to your sim objects, and then airplanes, and then just drag and drop this file in here. 
I've already yeah, done and, it. So. Uh, I would like to note that uh, you you have to go to your sim installation, which if you're a normal user who doesn't install it outside their x86, it's in your C drive, uh, program files, x86, uh, Microsoft games, Microsoft Flight Simulator X, and then there you are. Or if you're a little more experienced, you know where it is anyway. Uh, so you just drop it into your sim objects airplane this folder, and uh, here we go. It's in here. Uh, on our forum, we do plan to have, and that in uninstall actually is pointless at the moment. On our forums, yeah, we promise. do plan to have uh, repaints worked on. Uh, they, they they do have repaints for the aircraft at the moment on a separate package. You can put them in if you want, but the main reason we work with the base one that we got from the original uh, the Redux from Simviation is because of... Uh, I really didn't care if I had a different repaint. I just wanted to fix the issues. Yeah. So, uh, we... We'll uh, just leave you here. Uh, at the moment, we will. Uh, we don't have the forms complete either, but we will have a community section added where you can post news. You can post anything you so desire. Uh, we already have a news and announcements anyway. But uh, if anyone needs help, we'll have a specific section for that. If anyone requests, we a may repaint. set up a live chat if possible with the. With somebody. Uh, I know how to set up a live chat myself, so I'll uh, get onto that. I'll, although it will be through a third party uh, thing, and it's quite. Yes, and uh, if you see it offline and there's a way to st save the messages for the next time the person logs online, please don't spam because we don't have to read through 50,001 messages. Uh, the live chat uh, from. from uh, what I can do, I can make a live chat from XO xat.com which is a very popular oh, free yes, chat yes, service. Yes, I know exactly so, um, what you're talking about. Yeah, I kind of used that as a kid quite a lot. So, um <laughs> I would uh, I'm just going to leave you guys here and we're going to load up the sim and we'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back uh with Jackson, another Hello. Uh, yeah. He's another founding member of uh the Flight Sim International Group, and uh, we're here in the sim now with the XF11, our first project, which is uh, completed. Just been released. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we, uh, uh, according to Ace, we're still going to uh, update it, like he said in the previous part. Uh, I'm just uh, trying to get my notes up on my phone here. Uh, okay, so apparently, according to Ace, there's an issue uh, when we start one engine. You hear both engines on. But this, that's nothing to worry about. Uh, we have reworked engines for uh, FSX, folks, with them fixed, is what he said? Yeah, the thing is that um, if you didn't have the mixture control on or the, ignition, the main ignition on and you try and you flicked on the starter switch, the plane would totally gl glitch out it will go into the air making a mess and making oh, yeah. you know just like flipping it, about and yeah if it wasn't for me you wouldn't have found a solution for that and he said i didn't do no work on it because <laughs> <laughs> it was a fuel scaler or something like that yeah it was something to do <laughs> okay so we have a reworked vc with more period accurate gauges uh from uh, some people that I, uh, I said we don't know who they are, but we have given full credit to them. Uh, yeah, mostly, uh, mostly Cal Classic. A few of the gauges are from oh. their their DC6, um, DC6 cab files. Um, I'm pretty sure those are public, but thanks to them, because because we honestly couldn't find any more uh, fitting gauges to the panels. Um, the VC does look a little bit cluttered, and that's how it actually was. So it's it's the final product came out good in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna attempt to start this. Uh, bear in mind, guys, I'm I'm uh, just a beta tester with this, so I haven't really uh, flown this before. So uh, <laughs> let's let's just let's cut, girl. Uh, the click spots could be fixed. Uh. Uh. Okay. What? The hell? Okay, that click spot's not working. Uh, 
Okay. I'm just going to press Control E. There <laughs> you go. That works. Of course it does. Control okay. E works magic. Okay, and uh, as I'm not a big fan of props myself, I don't know what the correct cow flapping settings are. Uh, That's your gear warning. Are you on the ground? Oh yeah. Then it sounds off when I, you're on the ground and it'll give us up. Yeah, I uh... <laughs> I accidentally uh, pressed the gear button on my joystick. Ah, 15 frames a second, don't you love it? <laughs> uh, it's not that this is a poorly optimized aircraft, it's just uh, my settings are not very uh, optimized itself, so... Yeah, it's not very friendly, is it? Yes, ignore my poor taxing states. I have got a little bit higher of an RPM. Uh, just gonna press L to turn on my lights. Not highly realistic, but uh, yeah, it's a lovely early morning day here in Santa Barbara, in California. Uh, so yeah, okay. So one thing Ace wanted us to talk about was the updates to the aircraft that will be done down the f in the future. Uh, to fix any minor bugs or anything like that. Any yep. bugs that's been reported. Uh, and just a classic example of those engines being fixed, uh, I press Control e there, and the engine, or the plane itself didn't flip out. So, there we go. <laughs> exactly. Just gonna add some flaps. Oh, yeah, th there you can hear the flap sounds. Uh, I think, did this have uh, a two-a strata cruiser sound at first. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think it was one of those uh, updates for it. You know, just just bits and pieces of it. Just you know, but just to make sure, we just changed it out for DC seven sounds, R three three five zeros. Okay, that needed a bit of trim there. Yeah, it does need a little bit of trim. You know, on takeoff. Yeah, so we ignore my... Ooh, ooh, it really responds to that trim, huh? It's a very fast aircraft as well. Yes, it is. You can go up to 400 knots. Yeah, oh, and, and how high? Let, let me, huh? How high can it go as well? We haven't tested that out, but it's supposed to be a uh, high altitude... Uh, not, not high altitude, a reconnaissance slash spy aircraft, so... I'm guessing it should go pretty high, but I'm not sure. Oh, and I love that. Unless I set some keyboard shortcuts, I'm not going to be able to close those cow flaps. Uh, <laughs> I think it was like Control Shift C or something. C and a V, yeah. Check. No, nope, that don't just, mind them. It that, doesn't. That um, just raped my frame rate some reason. Uh, so we're just gonna follow the coast out here and then uh, for two minutes and turn around. Uh, I would like to say sorry for that long ass intro with seven minutes introducing the website and uh, <laughs> basically what we do is uh, we take broken FS3 where get the permission from the original developers. Well, it's not exactly broken, we just, uh, you know, it's just that we, we, we uh, how do I say that? We could, we see that we can make some some, something better from what's already made, so yeah. that's what we do. Basic, basically redesign it, uh, with permission of course, and credit to the original creators, because um, we don't want to infringe any copyrights. Uh, we will get permission from them at first before we do any sort of work with their products. Uh, and uh, yeah, so we're just going to follow the coastline down just a little bit more. Just. I think that if you go south enough, you'll hit Mexico. Ooh. Okay. So you're what's, flying north now. <laughs> what's this meant to be? This, this is meant to be the back seat? Is it? What? The uh, area behind is supposed to be the radio panels and the exit. Yeah, but it's kind of screwed up. Anyway, 
Uh, yeah, that was kind of screwed up, that view. <laughs> okay. So here's the flyby. Full throttle. Pull some uh, tight turns, if I can. Knife edge the plane. You think, you think the sounds are fitting? Yeah, they're all right. The engine sounds, yeah. I haven't taken the liberty to check it out myself. We're just gonna cut the throttle back here a bit. Uh, apparently I've cut it all the way back. a bit of a dive. Okay, that, yeah, that, that needs some trim. Uh, so this aircraft, if I was to say, it does look very nice. We, oh, I should say, Jackson and Ace have done some really nice uh, work to this aircraft. Uh, that's, uh, hmm. You do like About the design a lot. Three and a half thousand uh, pounds of fuel an hour I'm burning. <laughs> per, and that's per engine. Uh, that was the fuel flow gauge, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I built one of those things. <laughs> yeah, so, uh... Four flaps here. I'm just gonna cut the throttle just so I can slow down. Not that realistic. Can we on the speed brakes? I don't think so. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can see this metal strip being an issue. <laughs> I'm having to uh, kind of poke my head left towards, uh, to my left, just to see. Okay. So we're getting close to the runway. Just gonna touch down. The throttle. Touchdown. Uh, spoilers. Okay. Take yeah. back off. <laughs> I came in a little too fast. Like I said, I don't know yeah, this aircraft. That's usually the problem. I don't know this aircraft, so don't uh, don't hate me. Hate on me. Trust me, I had the same problem at the beginning. Just gonna up the flaps a bit. Uh, manifold pressure to about 35, I'd say. Uh, just set it to 20 for now. Uh huh. Okay, the rudder doesn't want to seem to work properly. Please. So now I am using a joystick rudder, not my proper rudder controls. I, uh, yeah, the yeah. rudder will assist you a lot in that aircraft. Say again? The rudder will assist you a lot in the aircraft. Yeah, I see that. We're gonna go for 22 manifold pressure. Oh, there's the runways. <laughs> Missed it again. Okay. Well, this is adding some time. Yeah, it, it does take a little bit to uh, get the used to it and finally get it to land. Yeah. Well, uh, it was a soft touchdown, but I floated way too long. would have complained to me and said uh, long landing constantly <laughs> until I, I touched down. I'm sort of bank banking this aircraft a bit much. But uh yeah. Oh when 
I press on the brakes, how stupid am I? Just gonna add some speed brakes in the air. Now, where does the air speed in this? <laughs> Sorry. Somewhere, I mean. I'm used to my jets, and I. Yeah. <laughs> I get so used to your monitors and displays. Let's down. There we go. Full brakes. This is the RPM gauge. Oh, there's the airspeed. 40 knots. There we go. So, uh, we're just going to taxi over to here. So, uh, if you would, just mind my newbiness of flying these little mini old props. <laughs> it's a very fast and nimble aircraft though, I must say. Yeah, it is very maneuverable. Maps up. So that's one thing I guess we uh, need to fix is the click spots, if we can. I... Mm. Hmm. From uh, this experience. Well, I wouldn't know how to do that, but it's... Uh, it's Googleable, is it? <laughs> yeah, Googleable. A new word for the English dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, that should have been in the English dictionary a while ago. <laughs> That's what Google is used for today. Anyway, so, uh, and I, yeah, stepped on the brakes too much there. We're going to park next to those hangars right there. Uh, very nice sunrise-ish. Kind of blue, kind of purple at the same time. Don't you love Rex textures, sir? Oh yeah, I mean, you can't get enough of them. But I have to change mine though. The sunset and the sunrise are just dull. Uh, they do kind of look a bit dull, but you know. Or mine, the one I selected. Yeah, mine do as well. A bit. Okay. Okay. Eh, yeah, close enough. Okay, too far. <laughs> anyway, okay guys, that was my review of our huge XF11 made from Craig something. I'm not sure of his full name. Uh, and his friend, I guess, who done the model. Anyway, uh, so that was the uh, Hughes XF11 for Flight Some International Group, and uh, I guess we'll see you guys next time uh, when we get with some, or when we come back with some bug fixes. Exactly, or any other aircraft. Maybe, maybe an announcement for the next aircraft. Oh yeah, and an announcement. Okay. 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 That engine should not be running, but it still is. Uh huh. Ah, uh, just cut the magnetos. I'll do it. Yeah. Or just cut your mixture. Yeah, I did, but that wasn't enough apparently. The magnetos had to go. Uh, okay. So, uh, I thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. See ya.